Come to the church in the wild wood. Come to the church in the dale. Hey, from the Little Brown Church here in Iowa, we're at the church in the wildwood and we're about to explore. Join us. Now 40. <laughs> Well, like I said, we're at the church in the Wildwood, the Little Brown Church in the Vale. That's it right there. It was built between 1860 and 1864. And I want you to picture this for a second. In 1857, there was a music teacher named William Pitt, and he was a music teacher and a songwriter, and he was traveling through the area uh, to visit, I think, his fiance. And he was from Wisconsin and he was driving through the area on a stagecoach and he got out here and was just kind of wandering around. The church wasn't here. This was 1857. He was just wandering around, saw this beautiful spot, peaceful, serene, gorgeous spot. And he thought it'd be a great place for a church. Well, he thought about it some more and got back home to Wisconsin and couldn't get the idea out of his head. And he didn't have any resources to build a church or anything like that, so he wrote a song about it. He wrote a song about the church he imagined and pictured what it would look like, a little brown church in the dale, a little church in the wildwood, and he wrote a song about it. He tucked it away in his desk, didn't think about it for five years, came back to this area to visit friends and family, and he was shocked when he got here because there was a church on the exact spot, that church right there, on the exact spot he always pictured in his mind. And uh, the crazy thing was, he wrote about a little brown church and it was a little brown church. Of course, paint was cheaper if it was brown. So that could have something to do with the color. Or it could just be the good Lord working in mysterious ways. Either way, this is a pretty neat church. Today, it's a huge wedding destination. I was talking to one friend in Waverly, and he said that he's been to almost a dozen weddings all at this church. And it's out in the country, northeast Iowa. There's a nice little garden back there. Right there, over there, there's a little pioneer village, a little museum. And uh, this is the town of Bradford, Iowa, or was. Bradford is no more, but uh, Little Brown Church, Church in the Wildwood. Thought it'd be fun to pick and grin and sing you the song and also just take you on a little walking tour. Because if you're ever in Northeast Iowa, this is a really, really peaceful, serene, fun place to stop and stretch your legs and just get a little piece of history from here in Northeast Iowa. So this is a really, really, this is a really, really neat place to visit. It's beautiful. There's a little area right back here of uh, souvenirs and little gift shop. You can just leave a few bucks in there. It's also nice to make a little donation just to help out the church. 
and it's air conditioning, there's restrooms, tons of parking, just a gorgeous little church. And it's just unlocked, you can just come in, look around, say a prayer, have some fun. You know, this visit to church kind of got me to thinking, which Bible character was the most musical? Well, Samson, because he, he brought down the house. By the way, we drove our truck here, but you know what kind of car Jesus would drive? Well, that's easy, a Chrysler. I stole that one from a minister, so don't get mad. That's minister approved. No spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the dale. Hey, thanks for visiting us today at the Church in the Wildwood. Have a super day.